Hi everyone, this is Diary of a Mystic. Thank you so much for joining me. Welcome back to my channel. This is my first reading on Missing Persons, Carly Gousset. I've had a few requests to read about her. She's been missing since October 13th, 2018. Last seen on October 13th, 2018. 16 years old. From Chalfont, California. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I apologize. Had recently moved to Chalfont, California from Bishop, California last year, which was about 19 minutes distance. I did Google the both both of those towns. Her date of birth is May 13th, 2002. Her astrological sign is Taurus. She's five foot seven, weighs approximately 110 pounds, and is 16 years old, about to turn 17 next month. Her father is Zachary Gousset, lives with her stepmother, Melissa, and her biological mom, Lindsay Fairley, lives in Nevada. Please be aware that this is a psychic reading. These are the facts that I gathered from watching other true crime channels on YouTube, as well as reading news reports. I have performed a tarot reading and from the reading itself, something, something is definitely afoot. One card did pop out. And that card is very significant. So as a reader, many times a reader, while they're shuffling, cards will fall out or a card will fall out, which is very significant to the reading. We have three court cards in the reading, four court cards actually, one I, one I think is indicative of Carly herself. There are two queens and there is one king. Something's definitely afoot from what I'm picking up on in terms of the energy surrounding her. Something is not what it appears to be. I know there's been a lot of speculation towards the stepmother. What I'm picking up most in this reading is more energies focused around a male. I did receive the image of mountain or the parting of a mountain or the in between of two mountain points. I know from looking at the geography of where she's from and where she lives, it's a desert and there are mountain ranges, but I saw specifically two mountain crossings or going through the middle of a mountain crossing. The name or word Carmel came to me as well as Mount in Monrovia. And I also received Mountain Pass. This could possibly be indicative of something related to her disappearance, but this is what came to me. If you've been following this case, you know the events leading up to her disappearance. She apparently said she was going to a football game the night before and actually went to a party and said she smoked marijuana. Her stepmother picked her up and then Carly apparently was acting very paranoid that night. I feel in the reading 
that she is very close to her stepmother. Her stepmother is very focused on Carly in terms of caretaking for her and has been a good role model in terms of stability, especially financially financial stability in Carly's life. Being the homemaker, the caretaker, a lot of positive focus on Carly's studies and making sure that she's doing very well in school and her education. But the stepmother has also provided some form of comfort as well as stability in the home. I do pick up on that. I feel that Carly, from what the reading is showing me, that she was either physically taken or physically moved. So when I say physically taken or physically moved, There's two different reasons for saying that. I feel like she left. I feel like she was taken or taken out of that area from the home. In terms of abduction or kidnapping from a stranger, I'm not picking up on that. I feel like it was someone who is close to her that knows her. I'm not speculating on anyone in particular and I'm certainly not accusing anyone in particular, but I feel that someone who has authority over her or someone who also is very capable of ruling, she's either was forced to leave or was forced to do something or felt forced. I also feel that there was a lot of control in terms of her being moved or relocated. I also feel with the King of Swords that fell out of the reading, the King of Swords is the mastermind of what happened to Carly. The King of Swords is the strategist. He's also the mastermind. So I feel that this is strongly male. A lot of people are speculating or accusing the stepmother. I'm not seeing that in this reading. All readers are different. This is what I'm seeing. I'm feeling it's more male. I also feel that it was someone that she was communicating with either via text or online. I'm not saying that she was doing something online that she shouldn't have been doing, but it was someone who had been in communication with her. And I'm also not accusing the boyfriend. The boyfriend to me did not come up in the reading. This also could have been someone who has a military background or possibly something to do with they're telling me military school I don't know if there's a military school near where she lives. This is someone who has dark features, dark hair, dark eyes, possibly a beard, facial hair. But it also is someone who is the one that was the strategist or the mastermind or had the plan or the idea. I feel that there's something's afoot and the circumstances and whereabouts of what happened to her is shadowed with deception as well as trying to maintain balance or cooperation, but at the same time it's also very much shadowed with deception and they're indicating to me at night or darkness. So when she apparently 
was discovered to have left the home around 545 from what I've seen on the videos. I'm not sure if it was still dark in California at that time back in October. So definitely something happening at in the dark and definitely something that is covered with deception. At the same time, there is cooperation and balance trying to be achieved possibly, but at the same time, there's also deception shadowing that, if you get where I'm going with that. I feel that there was a fight or a battle in the home between more than one person. There also could have been a fight or argument at the party that she was attending. There was some form of argument. And there also may have been frustration that came to a head. Words were exchanged, verbal words, argument, arg arguments, and arguing. But this is more with this is with more than one person. So this possibly could have been between her, her parents, etc. And I feel that Carly, whatever was said to her or whatever was exchanged, there was some form there was some form of finality that came down. They're showing me that there's possibilities of injury or they're showing me her back. They're also showing me uh, possibilities of her being attacked from the back. I just feel that Carly was wounded. I don't feel that Carly left the house and walked freely out of her on her own. I feel that she was wounded. I also feel that she was attacked from behind or something to do with her back. They keep showing me her back. I also feel that she either felt very confined or restricted by the rules of the home and may have been rebelling or may have been feeling more confined, but I also feel that the restrictions placed on her within the home were under the best pretense in terms of parental guidance, but I also sense that this ultimately led to an outburst or a unexpected event. So something was Definitely not premeditated, I don't feel. Something was definitely not pre-planned, but I do feel that there's a strong male presence. And also I feel that this was an unexpected event or unexpected traumatic event or unexpected trauma. There seems to be a lot of worry and fear, obviously, but also a lot of worry about justice coming, about justice for some reason, which I'm not laughing, but that makes no sense. If, if uh, there's a lot of fear surrounding either attorneys or the law enforcement, or there's fear associated with justice. So there seems to be really wanting her to be found, really wanting justice to come, really wanting justice to be served, but at the same time, 
There could be a lot of fear about it not happening or justice, what if justice does come or something surrounding that. I feel that the stepmother is walking on eggshells around the father. I'm picking up something from the father. I'm not accusing the father. Okay, please let me be clear about that. Nobody's, no suspects have been named, okay? Something's coming from a strong male presence. I feel that the stepmother is balancing something. She's trying to balance. The stepmother's doing a lot of walking on eggshells or a balancing act. And when I say act, I don't mean that she's acting. I feel that she's walking a tightrope. She's just really on edge. And it may be because she has a lot of speculation about herself being involved. I don't feel that she was directly involved. I feel that it's coming from a strong male presence, uh, someone who is definitely involved in either being a great communicator in the sense of talking. I don't know if Carly was texting with anyone that morning or that night, but somebody talked her into possibly leaving the house or meeting them outside. And I feel that something happened to her from behind. I also feel that she was taken or relocated. So during these types of readings, this is my first time reading about her, the energies are coming into me in segments. So if I sound like I'm stumbling over my words, it's because I'm receiving messages as I'm actually looking at the reading. There are definitely two queens and one king. The queen in particular, uh, both queens to me could either represent Carly's stepmother or Carly's mother. But I really feel that Carly's stepmother was someone who was very generous with her, who also tried to maintain stability in the home. Whereas Carly may not have had much stability growing up. There was trying to maintain especially financial stability in the home. If they had moved prior to her disappearance, it most likely would have been about new work, new job, new career, something to bring in financial stability in the home. I do sense though that someone is also walking a tightrope or trying to maintain a balancing act. I feel that this won't end well, unfortunately. I feel that there will be signs of Carly's uh, leads or something coming in to show signs of progress into her disappearance, especially within the next three to six months, possibly. So I do not see it ending well. I feel that something happened to her physically trauma-wise from the back and that she was put in a restrictive type position, either bound or tied or not able to move. They're showing me restriction, like not able, her body can't move. She can't move her arm out, her, her, her body was essentially just restricted from move from movement. So there was definitely some type of chaos, chaos or chaotic event that may have been very out of the blue, unexpected, traumatic event tied to her disappearance. But something's definitely weird about this case in terms of when I say weird, I'm picking up on that 
there's there's some strange things tied to this case strange things in terms of other people not just focused on her her stepmother there's there's a couple of different players in this case there seems to be uh, some weird stuff going on and in terms of whether or not anyone is to be found guilty I'm not seeing that I am seeing however especially this Queen of Swords <clears throat> that this person's really walking a tightrope trying to keep this balancing act and either maintaining cooperation or maintaining a sense of <clears throat> dignity about themselves something's definitely not right with this queen so the king of swords came out with the queen of swords which to me that's a couple that's a pair that could be very much tied into the father and the stepmother i feel that there needs to be and i will do a follow-up reading about the relationship of the parents of her father and the stepmother's relationship. I feel that the stepmother is covering up something for him. That's what I'm picking up on. This is a psychic reading, tarot reading. This is to help find more insight intuitively into the missing person's case of Carly Gousset who has been missing now since October 13th, 2018. I will also be doing follow-up reading on Carly. So thank you so much for watching. If you're following this case, if you would like to send me any leads on other cases that you're interested in seeing me perform, please email me and I'll put my email in the description box below. So thank you so much for watching everyone. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll speak to you soon.